Hi, and welcome to Sundays with Bill. This is a day when I share what I'm doing with people. Um, today I'm working on an old comic book page. Um, I had this idea about a man who believes he's turning into a horse. And um, I started it, and then for whatever reason, I put it aside. Um, I got busy with other jobs, things like that. And so now I'm sort of coming back to it with an idea about what I was going to do, what I want to do with it. I think the main thing is I didn't really understand why my characters were feeling the way they were about things. So um, in the story, there's a man who's dying of cancer and uh, he's with his partner and they're having a conversation. In the first panel, they're talking. I'm going to... Um, rework their faces here. Um, I've scrubbed in and wiped out detail on this page so many times I can't remember what it really looked like. And then uh, at the bottom panel there's a kind of a medium shot with a close-up of the woman talking and the man's face in shadow. And so this page, although I had an idea about them talking uh, and I sort of sketched out some heads, I think what would be better is a transitional shot. And so what I'm doing is a shot with sort of a cityscape, loosely based on San Francisco. Uh, it's not really any city in particular, um, a little bit of a futuristic city, I guess. And in the sky, I'm hoping to show some uh, clouds that sort of look like horses. I might not, that might be too much, um, um, but we'll see what happens. The way I'm going to make the city is not a traditional approach to making a city uh, or painting anything. I'm going to start with collage and image transfers. I've got magazines and pieces of things that could sort of look like cities. And I'm going to start with that and see where I get. Um, so the medium I'm using to glue down these shots is Liquitex Matte Medium. Um, you can use gel medium, you can use other acrylic mediums to glue things down, but I find that matte medium works really well. Um, so I'm just going to get started. This is the first thing I'm going to glue down. Uh, it's actually going to be both of these images overlaid minus this person's face. Um, I sort of like how this looks like a building, and then we'll see what happens. So let me grab an X-Acto knife so I can cut this out. This is an X-Acto knife. It's a tool that I like quite a bit. Um, normally I would say get a cutting mat. You know, don't do as I do, do as I say. But this drafting table is very old. I've had it for a long time. And I've cut on it and drawn on it and it sort of has a history to it. So I'm not too worried about a few extra cuts here and there. So I hold the ruler down. This has got a cork on the back which keeps it off the um, paper. Keep my fingers well back from the edge and then just draw a straight line. And that cuts out that page. I'm not worried about the exactness of how I cut because I'm going to be painting over this. You know, I'm sort of thinking about my sketch. I'm not really thinking in terms of a city. I'm thinking in terms of design. You know, I wanted something tall here. This is a transitional panel between the first and third panels. Um, and there'll be lots of dialogue. And so I'm 
even though a, a large panel doesn't necessarily slow things down, because of the amount of dialogue in here, it'll be a slower um, transitional scene. So. These are just cheap brushes, which I like because I don't have to worry about uh, ruining them. It's about $3 for a pack of them. And then there's a couple different ways to burnish this down. I'm just taking the lid. From the jar and I'm going to use that. I might need a little more matte medium. A lot of times I'll <clears throat> put the matte medium on both the surface and on the thing being glued down. You can also use a roller to glue things down and um, burnishers. Uh, there's all kinds of burnishers. You can use a piece of cardboard for that matter. You can also lay a piece of paper on top of the thing you're gluing so that it stops it from tearing. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. You don't really need a lot of water when you're using the matte medium. The drier, the better. Um, okay, so I'm going to pause right there. Um, watching me glue down stuff isn't really the fun part of this. <clears throat> 